right, welcome to Digital School Software, your number one school management solution. We are going to take this tutorial on how to upload CBT questions. So schools can use it to set questions for their students who are not physically present in the school and then the students will be able to log in from wherever they are and then answer the questions online and submit it. And then the schools will see it also from their end and see the scores of the students. And so let's start. So as soon as you log into your school's portal, you're going to come to the assessment manager, that is the school's administrator or the school's ICT personnel. You come to assessment manager. Under assessment manager, you have to choose whether you are giving assignment for primary or whether you are giving assignment for secondary. So let's assume it's going to be for secondary. You click on secondary and then you see a list of activities here. You go to upload OBJ question CBT. If you come to upload OBJ question CBT and click on it, all the classes will pop up. So we assume that we want to give English OBJ questions for our students to answer from the comfort of their homes. So we are going to click JSS1 for example. We we'll come to this point where we are supposed to enter the details of that um, assessment. We we'll come to assessment title. The system will automatically assign a title to this particular subject, and then we we'll come to assessment code. Sorry, and then we we'll come to assessment title. We can call it um, CA or assignment or whatever we want to call it. The we'll subject, we we'll subject we want to upload is English language. Then the date, start date. The start date is the date we want the assessment to be available online. So we can choose today, third, and then end date. We can choose the next day or as any date you want, tenth. So on this date, this assessment will no longer be available for students to answer the questions thereby. Then how do you want the students to as answer the question? Do you want them to answer it? once that is attempt once or you want them to just keep playing with it and keep themselves busy you say let's keep attempting so assuming this is going to be an assessment that we're going to use to score students so it's going to be attempt once then you write the instructions we're going to say answer all questions and then the duration 30 minutes for example you can choose the length of time, depend on the kind of questions you set you give to the student. And then how do you want them to answer it? If you say sequential or random, sequential means that for every student that is in that class, the questions will be coming up one after the other. Number one will pop up, then number two, but if the number three as the case may be. But if you want random, it simply means is that if five students from the same class logs in, the number one of this person may not be the number one of the other student, the number one of maybe the number 10. The questions will be popping up randomly and, and we use this to eliminate some level of um, examination and practices because we know that the students will be able will be answering the questions from home. And then we, let's just pick um, sequentially for example. And then we'll choose the subclass. You know we selected GSS1. So am I assigning it to GSS1A or all subclasses? So let's assume we have GSS1A, GSS1B, GSS1C, or whatever name you call your own classes. Maybe GSS1, Emerald, Gold, or whatever. So assuming we have like three arms of GSS1, we can choose all classes. If we want this exam, this test to be available for all the arms in that particular GSS1, or we want it to just be for only GSS1A. So it means that if those in GSS1A logs in, they are going to see these questions and they'll be able to answer it online. I'm going to show you where the students will log in, how they'll be able to start answering. There you now choose the file. Now before you get to this place, you must have typed the questions in Microsoft Excel. Let me show you a typical example of how the question format looks like. So this is how the questions are set. So you must you have an Excel file where you have the top, you have question option A, option B, option C, D, E. It must be like this. So in your own, you must arrange it this way. They will now have correct answer. So you look at an example of a question which is not a part of speech. Option A says now, option B says this. 
then you put down to option E. So whatever be the correct answer, for example, the answer to this first question is D, that is adjunct. You don't have to type adjunct, all you need to type is the option. You just type D, and that is how it is for every other question. So you, you must have typed this question and saved. If you look at the top here, you see English GSS 1A. So you must have saved it, so that when you come to your portal to choose the file, you go to where you saved those the question and then look at it gss one a you click on it you click on open the question is uploaded then you click on upload question was automatically what uploaded that is how you set the question so once the students log in they will be able to see it so i'm going to show you right now how the students will be able to log in and then see the question answer them so let's go to the students path all right this is the students login page so let's assume that i was a student of your school i'm going to use my portal id to log in and then i'm going to use my password also to log in So as soon as I log in, if the portal ID is wrong, it's going to report an error. So I'll enter the correct portal ID and the correct password. So as soon as the student logs in, to bring the students to this point, where the students will see my assignments. So you click my assignments, he will click you see all assignments students will click all his assignments so every student that is in that particular class for which you have set the assignment the moment you log in they are going to see the assignments they are going to see the assignments english language you see the assignment date the end date so the assignment is going to last from the 4th to the 10th of april and then duration is 30 minutes is online so it's meant to be answered directly online and then you will see start cbt so let's assume i want to start so i'll click on start cbt it will bring me to the cbt window where the questions will start popping up so i'll answer let's use these three questions to test what is the which of these is not a part of speech adjuncts i'll say next which of these is a noun? A noun is the name of person, a name of place or thing. So Francis is the name of a person. I will say next. A word used instead of a noun is a pronoun. So this student scored everything. Then he will click on finish. And say, are you sure you are done? Say yes. Automatically the system will score the student. And then your score was successfully saved. And his score will be saved so that the school from their own end will be able to also see the score of every student who have made attempt in this and then you see question total number of questions attempted three correct score three three over three that's what we have here so once the student is done he can close and then the student can log out he's done it's as simple as abc for the student Okay, now that the students have finished um, answering the questions, we, as the administrator or whoever is the administrator of the school, can go to view all those who have answered questions and then see their scores. And you do that by coming to the same assessment manager. If you set the questions for secondary, secondary, and then you see where you have manage assessments. You click on manage assessment. So the moment you click on manage assessment, by this right hand side, you are going to choose the academic session for which you gave that assignment or exam, the term, then the class for which you gave that, then you click on proceed. The moment you click on proceed, you are going to see the assessment date, the subject, the title, the subclass, the test mode online, 
they are going to see attempts. Attempts is telling you one student has made an attempt. If there are 20 students who, has made, who have made attempts, you are going to see them. And then if you want to see the details, you click on this button here. Click on it. Then the system will pull down the subject and all those who have made attempts and their scores, their full names, their portal ID, everything about the students, like admission number this, name will be Marcel, attempted these three questions, he scored three. Then you'll be able to see all those who have made attempts and score them accordingly. You can also download the Excel sheet of this result. Probably you want to use it offline for some other thing. At the end of the day, if you want the student to repeat this test or this quiz, you just delete, you delete his own, therefore giving him another opportunity to rewrite it. I hope you got something from this and I hope you are going to maximize it for your school. You can use this platform to set assignment, to set examinations for those who are prospective students and even for existing students within the school. Our students can answer the questions from the comfort of their homes or from wherever they are. The system will automatically mark and score the student. All you need to do is just to come and view the student's um, scores, as the case may be. So thank you very much for patronizing Digital School Software. My name remains Francis Uzo. If you have any question, feel free to call any of our support lines. We will always be available to attend to your questions. And also, if you know other schools that you want to recommend for us or you want to refer if you have been enjoying our services, you are free to do that and we will be very, very grateful for you, to you for doing that for us. Thank you very much.